I'm at the original Ding Tai Fong in Taipei, Taiwan. This uh, dumpling, this type of dumpling, is, and this particular restaurant is very famous actually. There are even branches in the United States now in Arcadia. So I'm going to show you the way they suggest that you eat uh, the xiaolongbao. Uh, even when I've been in the States, <laughs> I didn't even know to eat it this way. But the first thing you should do actually is they give you some ginger here. And what you want to do is you want to mix soy sauce and vinegar if you want. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the vinegar, so I'll just add the soy sauce to the ginger. Like so. They suggest a ratio of one to three when you add this. I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm actually not a huge fan of ginger either, but you can add that to your xiaolongbao. Now, here's the xiaolongbao dumpling. These, this style of dumpling has pork on the inside and uh, inside the ax and inside here also is like a soup uh, flavor. It's a soupy little liquid which once you bite into um, will, you know, pop in your mouth and it's quite good. Or you can do it the way that they suggest here which I'll show in just a minute. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take the dumpling and you want to add some soy sauce to it. Once you've added soy sauce, you want to add it onto your spoon, your soup spoon right here. Now normally you'd be holding this, but I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Now once here, what you want to do is you want to poke a hole in it so all the juice comes out. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but I'm trying to make it more obvious. So here is the juice, the soup substance inside the actual bowl. This is quite flavorful actually. And at this point now, you can add some ginger in it as well. So this will also help cool down the xiaolong bao so it doesn't burn you when you eat it. Once it's here, it's ready to eat. Bon appetit.